So we're on that far side of the track, the rod is coming into line for race number one. Away we go in with race number one, they go in the back straight for the uh, first time. Colin Bruce made a good job, they're going to get Neil Taylor out the outside, leads into that top corner for the first time. Neil Taylor on the outside, Colin Bird holds the inside line. Ben Isley's looking for speed around the outside, it comes through in the second place, good right by Ben Isley to get through in the second place, Bird has got the third, Peters is in fourth place, this Neil Taylor leads him down the back straight on lap number two, and Isley again is swept back round the edge of Bird to go back through into that second place, Peter Bird, coming up on the inside, holding that third place, Peter Bird now goes through, he's a third place, and Neil Taylor, while in control and one of the leader at the front, takes the wide line again, coming out of that bottom corner, on the last lap he goes there, Neil Taylor the leader, Ben Isley holding second, Peters has got the third, Bird is in fourth, place, Hiller Bird is in 5, Williams in 6, Muldoon surprised you back in 7th place, so no hole in Cook in the open race, and he'll down the back straight, Paul Lee, Paul Simon, well in control on the first seat, on the 250 solos, it's Neil Taylor in and out of that final corner, Neil Taylor gets the winning ride, second place is Ben Isley, third place is Peters, fourth is Colin Bird, five is Chris Bird, six Steve Muldoon, Seven, James Williams, and eighth place, Adam Hawker. Race one result, the win for number 173, Neil Taylor. Second number 82, Ben Isley. And third number 45, James Peters. Six, nine, five, 73, and number 50. Race 2, delete 721, Sam Radley-Smith, putting number 16, Adam Shipp. Coming out then for race 2, another heat of the uh, 350 solos. Where we go then with race number two, another heat of the uh, 250 so down the back straight they go for the uh, first time of the green, they're going to go down the back straight beyond the green which holds that uh, third place position, they race into that top corner for the first time. Taking a wide line, it's Adam Ship, of course, who now leads in from James Charles, in second. Oliver Greenwood's got the third, his ship leads, you've been Charles in second, Greenwood is in third, that's the top three, they roared in that back straight once again. The former British champion, well in control, the front won the 250s, it's Skegness, yes, he's number two on the 250 here, but it's afternoon. It's still Charles, who holds that second, Greenwood looking to improve upon that third place, he's been getting away from the remainder of the field, then as they move on the last lap, ship the leader then, but Charles holding second, Greenwood has got the third place position, that's the uh, top three with Steve Darvel holding fourth place. Look at the leader again going down that back for Adam Ship. While he controls the foot, Oliver Greenwood having to go for that second place. As James Charles they race into that top corner for the final time. It's going to be Adam Ship that gets the winning ride. It's going to be tied for second and third. James Charles holds that to second. Oliver Greenwood is in third. Steve Darvel comes across the line in fourth, followed by 2 5 0. Joe Stevens and number 196 Matt Classen. They're followed by 594, 13 and 56. Result of race two, win for number 16, Adam Ship. Second number 97, James Child. And third, 311, Oliver Greenwood. 242, 250. 196, 594, 13, and 56. And we go to race three, first heat of the 350 solos should be as per program with the return of former Long Eaton Speedway star Gary O'Hare, riding number 56. start of a race number three number 65 Ryan Wilkinson it's a non-starter in race 
number three. Away from the start, over that far side of the track, going in the back straight for the first time. Georgie Wood has made a super start, he's going to go in the back straight for the first time. Martin Williams has stopped it for that second place position going in that top corner. It's Woody Lee's there for Williams in second place. Not very obviously, Martin Williams in second place in a 3.50 race. It's Woody Lee's for Williams in second. Drew has got the third. Peters is in four. Gary O'Hara is in five. That's the top five as they go to the back straight once again. Then it's Georgie Wood to leave. He's been hunted down by Martin Williams. Georgie Wood made a mistake on the exit for that fifth corner. Martin Williams almost alongside him now as they go in that top corner once again. It's Woody Lee's Wood to the top the line. Leaves a big gap on the inside. And Martin Martin Williams almost through that gap, Wood leads him on the last lap, then Ben Williams holding that second place, it's two in third, Peters in four, O'Hare in five, that's the top five as they go to the back straight once again, it's still Georgie Wood and the advantage of Martin Williams in that top corner on the final lap of the first team, of the 350 sellers and Georgie Wood is getting away at the front again, Georgie Wood's going to win the first seat of the 350, second place goes to Martin Williams. Now Andrew is going to pick up the third place. Peters is in four, O'Hare in five. Followed by Anders McFarland and 182 Glenn Waterfield. Race three result to winner number 96, Georgie Wood. Second number 25, Martin Williams. And third, 201, Darren Drew. 37. 56, 131, and 182. Coming into on M4 race four, another heat of the 350 solos. I've been running there with race number four. Looked at Mark uh, Taylor lifting out of the start, but he's got certainly got away and easily to go in the back straight for the first Start to work his way to the field as he's just single as three abreast the second place coming out of that top corner as it is. Um, Taylor has got the advantage then from Jeffers in second, Dingle in third, Barry Powell in four, Andrew Whitaker in five, that's a top five with nothing much between those five, the three abreast again, that top corner of Jan Jeffers trying to get through on the inside but still Neil Taylor, Alton Davis, Taylor going into that top corner, Taylor on the inside, Dingle around the outside, Jeffers holds that third, Powell in four, Whitaker in five, Super 350 action, as Dingle leads him on the last half and Taylor holding second, Jeffers in third, Powell's in four, Whitaker still holds position number five, as Josh Dingle clear, going down that back straight once again. It's Taylor coming under pressure when Jeff is out racing the second and third. John Jeff is looking to get through on the inside. Taylor going into that final corner. It's Josh Dingle has the one in right. Taylor goes right. Can Jeff is get through on the inside line. Dingle gets the win. Then Taylor in second. Jeff is gets the third. Powell's in four. Whitaker in five. They're followed by 278. And one more rider to come across the line in race number four. Super race in race number four, won by number 107, Josh Dingle. Second number 170, Mark Taylor. And third number 14, John Jeffries. 82, 17, 278, 84, and 461. On we go to race five, first heat of the pre-75s. Right, race number five, pre-75 solos coming out for their first race of the afternoon. Full grid of pre-75s. Up for the 
tape should have full grid of 375 looking across on that far so looks like Ian Goodbridge leading him going to the back straight Calvin Palmer's gone from the inside Tim Kernock follows him through and that's the top two they make their way into that top corner for the first time it's Tim Kernock who has the advantage and Ian Goodbridge around the outside Calvin Palmer trying to come through on the inside Kernock leads him and Guthrie in second Palmer in third Liner is in four Needham is in five Jeff Jones in six Rob Snow in seven that's the top seven as they go in the back straight with Gerald Short surprisingly right at the back at the moment that's amazing to see Gerald Short so far at the back as Kernock leads going in that top corner once again and Guthrie holding that second place Palmer now coming under pressure for the line in that race for third in four places Jeff this whole position number five as Kernock leads him on the last lap then and Guthrie in second Palmer in third Liner in four Jones in five, Needham in six, Snow in seven, Palmer in eight, Phillips in nine, Meadows in ten, that's the ten. As leader Tim Kernock, the reigning British Priest, 75 champion league, going into that top corner. For the final time in race number five, he's well clear of Ian Goodbridge, hanging on to that second place. Calvin Palmer now coming under pressure for third, it's Tim Kernock, let's see winning rise. Second is Ian Goodbridge, third place Calvin Palmer, fourth Jeff Jones, five Sully Liner, six Dave Needham, seven Rob Snow, eight Stephen Palmer. 9 Dave Meadows, 10 Mark Phillips and 11 Gerald Short Race 5 result win for 726 Tim Kernock 2nd number 174 Ian Gutteridge and 3rd 226 Calvin Palmer 52 246 364 189 227 105 20 and 27 Race 6, 1 change, delete, 2 change, delete, 55 and 99 Putting number 16, Andy and Laura Carrison Number six, first heat of the 500 sidecars. Most of these lads, and I say, in fact, all these lads out here were racing at Skegness yesterday afternoon. on that far side starting up the arms in the air Riders coming like starter walks away up for the tapes and we, they come into view over that far side of the track we try and pick the leader out they go in the back straight for the uh, first time in the second place Tony Cook has completely missed the start he's trying to work his way to third half the red bull star today McLaren is in fifth place but they come by for the first time it's uh, Andy Carrison who has the advantage end and Heeks have got the second Southgate in third Cook is in fourth Sinead McLaren is in five that's the five as they go to the back straight once again Carrison's replacement in this heat have stolen a march in front Heeks hanging on to that second place Heeks have dropped back to second place Southgate's gone through into second Heeks have got the third and Tony Cook trying to get round the outside of that top corner coming on to complete that lap then it's Carrison to have the advantage it's been Southgate in second Cook's now up to third Heeks have gone in second Tony Cook's now got machine problems drops out while holding that third place position as Carrison's clear going down the back straight for the final time it's Southgate who's got the second with Heeks now retaking that third place as Andy and Laura Carrison well clear going into that top corner for the final time super stuff coming out now for number 16 as Andy and Laura Carrison pick up the winning ride second place goes to Gary Southgate Third place of the Heaths, and fourth is uh, Sinead McLaren. Race six result to win for number 16, Andy and Laura Carrison. Second number 44, Gary Southgate, Nicky Boltz. And third number 18, Rob and Sam Heath. Fourth number 22. Race seven of the Heath of the... Uh, 500 sidecars, we've got Bradley, Sean Harvey, Scott Dunn, Nick Radley, Anthony Goodwin, Mark Cosser interest, we've got uh, 
both Rob Bradley and Mark Cosser on the 500 here and Nick Bradley and uh, Scott Dunn finished joint first in the 500 sidecar qualifier at Skegness yesterday and of course also in the seat thrown in for good measure the reigning British champion Sean Harvey with Danny Hogg in the chair. An intriguing race number seven. I said the two top, equal top scorers from Skegness yesterday, both plus the reigning British champion, plus the interest of Rob Bradley and Mark Cosser, both on 500 sidecars. Sort myself then over on that far side for race number seven. Well, they're going with the second heat of the 500 cycle. Looks like Nick Radley making a good start lead. Going down the back straight for the first time. Thompson has got that third place position. All the best going into that top corner for the first time. Who's next? Bradley who has the lead. There'll be Sean Harvey making a move around the outside. Radley leads it. But Harvey in second. John has got the third. Cosser in four. Hansi Goblin in five, Rob Bradley in six, that's at six, they go in the back straight once again, Nick Bradley on the inside, Sean Arby making a move around the outside of that top corner, these two getting away from Scott Dunn has got that first place, and Nick Bradley leads going into that top corner once again, he holds the inside line, Sean Arby making a big move back around the outside, they're going to come out that corner and virtually together, Nick Bradley takes Sean Arby really wide there, Sean Arby screws it on, trying to get back around the outside, Scott Dunn comes back at the equation as well, as Sean Arby again trying to find a way through on the inch of Nick Bradley going down that back straight once again, it's Bradley in six after six coming out of that top corner for the follow time it's Nick Randy who gets on in right second place goes to Sean Harvey third place is Scott Dunn crossed the line together for fourth and fifth virtually locked together couldn't see them crossing the line there with Rob Bradley in sixth place certainly Anthony Goodwin and uh, Mark Cosser but couldn't be separated they crossed the line there for fourth and fifth places Race 7 result to win for number 21, Nick Radley and Adam Young. Second number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. And third, number 118, Scott Dunn and Paul Smith. 30, 37 and 87. Rob Bradley will be riding number 87 on the 500s, the same as his number in the 1,000 sidecars. Race 8 then, we move on to the first leg of the uprights. Delete 22 and 910. Put in 55, Paul Morphy. Where we go then with this race number eight, the first heat of the upright solos and going down the back straight, the first one's very much in that seat, all the the front going into that top corner. On the inside, he's coming under pressure, coming out of that uh, bottom corner, and he's uh, it is, it's number 37, Colin Malone has gone through, that's Steve Dora, definitely gone through this time, Malone leads it, but Dora's gone through on the inside, Steve Dora leads him going down the back straight, for the first time, the return of the maestro there as he leads, going down that back straight, in the first year of the up point, Malone has got that second place, Lucas, going forth up the first place, as Steve Dora expects that first time, returning to the track, as he comes out of that bottom corner and leads on the last lap, it's Dora leads it, for Malone holding that second place, it's Bird who's got the third, we're short in four, Snow is in five, Roller's in six, that's a top six, but notice this, you can, can't possibly miss the style of Steve, Roars into that top corner, in the first seat on the up right solo, Roars into that bottom bend, first about the track for over two years, and Steve Dorr hits back with a running ride in the first seat on the up right, second is Chris Malone, 
Third place is Gerald Shaw, fourth is Colin Bird, five Rob Snow, sixth Phil Rowlands. Then we've got 777 and 84 Gordon Walker. Super action race number eight to win for 110 Steve Dorr. Second number 37 Chris Malone. And third number 27 Gerald Short. Six. 189. 886. 111. And number 84. Race 9, number 8 of the uprights. Right, coming to line for race nine, another heat of the upright solos. Up for the tapes and away they go. And we're looking for Ian Dudley to lead them going down the back straight. Is Ian Dudley leads going down that back straight? Number one, two, four, and has gone through into that second place. This is Dudley leads into that top corner, 40 first time. Then Miller Chap is arriving and they've chased him. Dudley's took the wide line. Miller Chap takes the title line. Bourne has got the third, but Palmer goes through. On the inside, Bourne. Griffin is in fifth place. Needham is in sixth. That's the top six. Neil Woodhouse holds that position number seven as they go to the back straight once again. It's Dudley who's getting away in the front end. The Miller Chap holding second. Palmer's up to third. Vaughan is in fourth place, Lippard in five, Needham in six, that's still the top six, they move on to lap four this time, it's Ian Dudley, while in control of race number nine, for Miller Chap on that second, Palmer's got the third, Griffin gets closer in four, Vaughan is in five, Needham in six, Waddup in seven, Waterfield in eight, Meadows in nine, that's a nine as a leader, Ian Dudley down the back straight, forty four more time, in race number nine, big lead up Ben Miller Chap at the end of that top quarter, forty four more time, in race number nine, it's Ian Dudley coming to the stage of victory, Ben Miller Chap, Picks up the second place. Nick Griffin's worked his way through to get that third place position. Followed by Calvin Palmer in four, Adrian Vaughan in five, Dave Needham six, Neil Wallops in seven, Glenn Waterfield eight, Dave Meadows in ninth place. Race nine result to win for 3 1 2, Ian Dudley. Second, 1 3 0, Ben Millichap. And third, number four, Nick Griffin. 2 2 6. One two four, three six four, two oh four, one eight two, and one oh five. First of the five hundred solos is on the line. Looks like Harlan Cocker leads them going down the back straight. Forty first on Jody Hodgson's got through into the second place position. And it looks like uh, number 87, Dean Hilly, who got the reserve berth to last just qualified last week, has gone through in the third. He's now gone through in the second place as Cook leads him. And, uh, Hilly are holding that second, Hudson has got the third, that's the top three in the first heat of the 500 solos, down the back straight they go, and it's a big lead there for Harlan Cook. So Hilly holds that second, Hudson has got the third place position, the last half flag being made ready in the first heat of the 500 solos, it's Harlan Cook clear at the front there, but a wide riding, Hilly has just been hanging on to that second place, and Hudson who has got the third. It's 177 Mike Cherry who is in fourth place. That's the top four with 212 in fifth place. Warren Atkinson in fifth place. That's the five in the first heat of the five minute solo. Harlan Cook is here coming out of that to final corner. Second flag out then for number seven, Harlan Cook. He gets the winning ride. Second place is Dean Hillier. Third place, Jody Hodson. Fourth is Mike Cherry. This is number 212, Warren Atkins, son. Race 10 result to win for number 7, Harlan Cook. Second number 87, Dean Hillier. And third number 53, Jody Hodson. 177, 212, and 67. And we go then to race number 11, another heat of the 500 solos, delete number 2, put in number 91, Rod Malcham. So 
So first meeting of the season for, for Ashcroft on his return to racing for 2011. Wrapping up on the line then for race number 11. When they go to a clean break, all the riders getting away. And they've got two riders of best coming down that back straight for the first time. Second up in the Ben Millichap who got the inside line there coming out of that top corner and picked the numbers that they come into view. Yes, it is Millichap who leads it. But Ashcroft making the move around the outside. Malcolm's got the third. Rollins in four. Wins it in five. Cox in six. That's the top six. They go down the back straight once again then. Make the dust to clear so we can see him. We're in that back straight. Ben Millichap it is. With Ashcroft on the shoulder. Millichap on the inside. Ashcroft making the move around the outside. Super race between these two again. Millichap holding the inside line. For Ashcroft trying to come right round the outside. For Ashcroft comes round the outside. Millichap holds that second, Melchior on the third, Roland in four, Winter in five, Scott Cresswell is in position number six, and Super Axe again, and Millichap coming back to on the inside again, Pelascott walls back round the outside, then Millichap again, back to on the inside, Ashcroft again, back round the outside, so then this action between these two and Millichap on the inside, Ashcroft has gone wide, he cuts it back for the inside run, will he catch Millichap out, Super ride for Ashcroft, second bin Millichap, then Millichap, third place, Rod Malchin, fourth down Winterton, five Dave Rowland, six Scott Cresswell, super 500 racing there with Millichap and Palascrop passing on, repassing on numerous occasions. Race 11 result then, another heat of the 500 solos, who win the number 83, Palascrop. Second number 130, then Millichap, and third number 91, Rod Malchin. 12, 887, 200, and number 18. Race 12, first tee to the big chair, step fly passenger will be Jason Gill. Six out is on the line then for his first heat of the big chairs. Starter walks away up for the takes. Everybody gets away. John Hiscock very, very slow away from gate number two. And it's Step Fly who has the advantage to come by the first time. And Fred Skinner in second. Peter Lloyd is in third. And uh, John Hiscock with all two right at the back of the field as Step Fly leads him going to the back straight. For the first time, Peter Lloyd has gone through there into that second place. Off the back straight once again. It's still. Step Fly making the most of that uh, super start there from the, the mid track position gate. Step Fly leads him, and Peter Lloyd on the inside holding that second place position. Peter Lloyd has got the second. Matt Pumarola is in third. Fred Skinner is in fourth. Going down the back straight once again. Fly leads it then for Lloyd in second. It's Pumarola in third. Skinner is in fourth. Down the inside. Red flags are out. So obviously race 12 stopped in the interest of safety. We've got Fred Skinner on the inside step line next to him. And we've got uh, Peter Lloyd, Paul Downs and Matt Fumarola run on the outside. This reached out of race number 12. Rerunning the first hit of the big chairs. Starter walks away, takes for Fred Skinner's quick away. Peter Lloyd is quick away as well. And then the leader, Matt Fumarola, making a good move around the outside. Three of us going into that top corner. Matt Fumarola on the outside. Fred Skinner on the inside. Peter Lloyd holds that third place. Fisher, they go off the back straight for the first time. Then it's Matt Fumarola stolen the mark to put Fred Skinner on the inside. Fred Skinner holds that third place. Paul Downs is in fourth. He seemed to have lost that fly somewhere over on that far side of the track then. And Matt Fumarola is a clear leader then from Peter Lloyd holding second. Fred Skinner has got the third. Paul Downs is in uh, fourth place. That's the four. As they race up the back straight once again then. Fumarola clear going down that to straight. But Peter Lloyd holding that second. Fred Skinner trying to close the gap there in third. Paul Downs is in fourth place. Jeff Lloyd coaching back towards the pits area as Matt Fumarola takes the last lap flag. Well in control of race number 12. Fumarola leads it then. From Lloyd holding that second, Skinner's got the third, Downs is in fourth place, going up the back straight for the final time in race number 12 is uh, outfit to number five, the outfit to Matt Fumarola and uh, Dan Crawford, they're clear then, for Peter Lloyd holding that second, Fred Skinner gets a little bit closer in third, Paul Downs is in fourth place, Matt Fumarola gets the winning ride. Second place is going to be uh, Peter Lloyd. 
third Fred Skinner, fourth Paul Downs. Race 12 resolved to win for number 5, Matt Fumarola, Dan Crawford. Second number 4, Peter Lloyd, Daryl Whetstone. And third number 2 to 8, Fred Skinner and Stephen Russell. Fourth number 44. And we go to race number 13, delete 362 and 375, putting number 48, Rod and Gareth Winterburn. So it should be in for a crack in race number 13. Five. Cracking out pitch on the line, Mark Warren, James uh, and Dave Googe, Rob Bradley, Colin Blackburn and Rod and Gareth Winderburn, all the five crews. I've only got the four crews out there at the moment, they come by us for the first time. It's uh, Rob Winderburn, Colin Blackburn, Rob Bradley and the Googes have gone into that uh, Third play business, so mo no Mark Warren at the moment, so just a four crew. Oh, Rob Bradley's turned it over on the inside of that bottom corner. Rob Bradley's turned over on the inside of the bottom corner. Not very often we see Rob Bradley go over, but he's uh, put it upside down on that bottom corner. So oh, Colin Blackmore on gate one, the Googes have gate two and Rod Winterburn goes into gate number three for the restart of race number 13. Second leg of the big chairs. Starter walks away, away we go then, the Colin Blackmore making a good start then Rod Winterburn goes with the Googes, got probably leaving the gate, Rod Winterburn gets around the edge of Colin Blackmore to lead into that top corner, Googes have got away in uh, third place. As Black, as Winterburn leads you, and Blackmore in second place. Here you are, waiting for the Googies going to back place. First time then, the replacement crew of Rod and Gareth Winderburn. Uh, they lead going into that pitch corner, but Colin Blackmore and Carl Pugh holding that to second place. The Goose lads have the third place vision. Winterburn's clear to the front then, but Blackmore in second. Googies have got the third. Googies come around in third place, and Rod Winterburn going on that back straight once again. He leads to Rod hold that second place. James and Dave Gooch have got the third place. That's that flag being made ready then for crew number 48, the crew of Rob Winderburn and uh, Gareth Winderburn. Second place here is Colin Blackbourne and Carl Pugh, both on new machinery again this afternoon. Gooch is quite a way back in third as the leader, Rob Winderburn up the back straight once again. He's trying to control of the situation in the second heat of the uh, big chairs. Won the big chairs at Skegness yesterday. Looks like winning this first second heat of the big chairs here this afternoon. Rod Winterburn and Gareth Winterburn get the winning ride. Second place, Colin Blackbourne and Carl Pugh. And third place will be James and Dave Gooch. Race 13, a win for number 48, Rod and Gareth Winterburn. Second number 25, Colin Blackbourne and Carl Pugh. And third number 11, James and Dave Gooch. Race 14, Dave Hogan will be the passenger for Steve Smith. We go into race number 14. Craig Smith, Mark Costa, Simon Hill, Simon Beanie, Steve Smith and Will Offen are the six crews for race number 14. Crew's coming out then for race number 14. Steve Smith in near start there to get it to pushed off the line. Steve had his first outing yesterday of the 2011 season.
just waiting for Steve Smith to fill that number six gate for race 14. Up and away then with race number 14, Steve Smith left on line, who's going to make the start? Will Offen's pretty quickly away, but Mark Cosseries from Will Offen in second, Simon Eden in third, Simon Beanie is in four, Craig Smith in five, and Steve Smith surprisingly at the back, they go up the back straight for the first time, and crew almost rocking around there, Simon Eden almost rocking his going on that back straight. We have this together going up that back straight and Mark Costa has stolen the march at the front. He's a clear leader. They come by us for the first time. It's Costa and Boyle have the advantage of them. And Simon Hill holding that second place position. It's Craig Spill has got the third from Will Offen in fourth. Crew pulled up the middle of the track. It's uh, the in the middle of the track now. They're racing the last straight once again. Costa and Blyer got a big lead going in to that to Pitts corner. Simon Hill holding on to that second place to the last up flag being made ready there for Mark Cosser at crew number 37 it's Simon Hill who holds that second place Craig Smith has still got the third Will Offen is in four Steve Smith in five back straight once again Mark Cosser reigning masters champion one in control in race number 14 he leads into that to Pitts corner for the final time he's going to win race number 14 Mark Cosser gets the winning ride second place is Simon Hill Third place, Craig Smith. Fourth, Will Offen. Followed by Steve Smith. Race 14, who wins for number 37, Mark Cosser and Carl Bly. Second, number 16, Simon Heal and Terry Madley. And third, number 22, Craig Smith and Brett Edge. 80, and number 2. Back to the start of the program then for race 15, second leg of the 250s, delete number 37, delete 721, putting number 16, Adam Ship. So race 15, Adam Ship, impressive winner first time out. We've also got to Ben Isaac, got a good second place, delete number 7, Arlen Cook from this race number 15. Oliver the green were picked up a third place in this first outing. Away to a clean break, they're wrapping up on that line and it's uh, Oliver Green were making a superstar, but Adam Ship has gone through on the inside of Sunburn has gone through. Isaac's gone through into that third place, but who's gone through into four? The ship is leader coming out of that top court. Oh, and uh, but then Isaac's dropped it, will hold in the second place on that corner. A ship leader then from Greenwood in second, Muldoon is in third, Stevens is in four, Hawker is in five, Cox in six, and Slade in seven, that's a seven. And Ben Isaac's got going again, but he's got an awful lot to do. He can't see the road up the morning on that first corner. He's got a top corner, they go once again. Adam Ship, the clear leader there. But Greenwood trying to close the gap there in second place. Ship leads it, and Greenwood in second off the last half this time. Mildoon has got the third. Stevens is in fourth place. Hawker in five. Ben Isaac's starting to work his way to try to pick up some scoring points. As we see Adam Ship into that top corner. Four leads for more time in race number 15. Former British champion Adam Shipper wins race number 15. Second place is going to be Oliver Greenwood. Third place, Steve Muldoon. Fourth, Joe Stevens. Walker's moment holding on to that fifth place, but uh, Ben Isaac is starting to work his way through the field as Adam Hawker comes across the line, followed by Ben Isley. 56 marks laid. And number 13, Rachel Cox. Race 15 result to win the number 16, Adam Ship. Second number 311, Oliver Greenwood. And third number 5, Steve Muldoon. 250, 50, 82, 56, and 13. And we go to race 16. Colin Bird leads going in that top corner, three of best coming out of that 
Top corner, Neil Taylor trying to find a way through on the inside for James Charles. Gets between two, Rod and Charles Lee, Jim and Taylor in second. Bird has got the third, Peters is in four. That's the top four of the race. Then that back straight once again, Taylor on the inside, Charles round the outside, Super 250 action between these two as they go. Then the back straight once again. Charles, you hold up second place. Bird has got the third, Peters is in fourth place. And Neil Taylor takes a wide on again on the exit for that top corner. Has the advantage over James Charles now on the last lap. Taylor leads him and Charles in second. Bird has got the third. Peters is in four. Darvel is in five. Williams in six. Bird in seven. Class in eight. That's the top eight. As leader again, Neil Taylor down the last place once again. Charles here roaring to that top corner once again. So another former British 250 champion going to take the winning ride this time. Neil Taylor gets the winning ride from James Charles in second place. Can be tight, the third and fourth. Peters making a move around the outside. Bird coming out of that final corner. Bird gets it from Peters in four. Darville in five. Williams six. Bird in seventh. And the final across the line should be number 594, Lindsay Bourne. Race 16 result, win to number 173, Neil Taylor. Second number 97, James Child. And third number 6, Colin Bird. 45, 242, 73, 9, and 594. Race 17, 350 action. Remember from the line then for the seat of the 350, so as they all get away to a clean break, Barry Powell looks like it wouldn't be storming down the inside and it hit the front door in the back three. Jeffers again, the best of stars, he's gone through the second place, it's Powell on the inside, Jeffers making the move around the outside, Powell just wanted to block the charge of Jeffers, Powell leads it, then Jeffers holding that second place, Miller Chapp has gone through, McFarlane's gone through into third place, John Jeffers almost in trouble on the inside of that pits corner, as Barry Powell away, leads going down the back straight, once again, Jeffers holding that second, to get away in this on these 350 solos that John Jeffers holding that second place and falling using every inch of track in third as well to hang on to that third place Gary O'Hare now goes through from fourth to third good ride by Gary O'Hare to pick up that third place position as Powell is clear going down the back straight once again McFarlane's got position number four that's the top four second class lead May Red Den for riding number 82 Murray Powell with race 17 second is uh, John Jeffries Third place, Gary O'Hare. Fourth is Anders McFarland. Five, Simon Phillips. Six, Jack Meredith. And that completes race 17. Race 17, then a win for number 82, Barry Powell. Second, number 14, John Jeffries. And third, number 56, Gary O'Hare. 131, 278, 461. Race 18 coming to line then, delete number 65 for race 18. Race number 18 of the heat of the 250 solos and Martin Williams has been the best of starters. Taylor makes a good start. Martin Williams is going to make a big move around the outside to go through the second place on the shoulder of Taylor. Taylor on the inside, Dingle making a move around the outside. These two drifted wide coming out of that bottom corner. Super ride by Josh Dingle gets around the outside of Mark Taylor. Georgie Wood now goes through the third place. Martin Williams for Dingle again back around the exit of Taylor on the exit. Red flags are out. Red flags are out upon that top corner. We've got Ronnie down here, Dylan Drew is Ronnie down, down with a commentary box for that one stop. Obviously in the interest of safety, so Dylan Drew drew the rider to fall in race number 18.
was the go. We're waiting for the all clear for the track to be clear. By the way, then, with this race of race number 18, it's Josh Dingle has the advantage over Mark Taylor in second. Martin will it be third. Georgie Wood in fourth. Pitt is in five. And they go in the top corner for the first time. It's Dingle storming clear to the front. And Taylor holding out second place position. Down the back straight, they go once again. Dingle leads with Taylor in second. William in third. Wood is in fourth. Martin Williams in third, Georgie Wood in four, Peters in five, Walker in sixth place. Race 18 result, win for 107, Josh Dingle. Second number 170, Mark Taylor. And third number 25, Martin Williams. 96, 37 and 84. We're going to see to the 375, so Dave Needham and Megan a good start. Tim Kurnot's quickly away, he's a leader, Gerald Short. On his shoulder now in second place, Ian Goodrich. Megan to move round the outside, Dave Needham holds up fourth place, and that's the top four. As Kurnot leads, they come by the first time, been short in second. Goodrich in third, Needham in four, Palmer in five, Jones in six, Snow in seven, Meadows in eight, Liner in nine, that's the top nine. As it race to the back straight once again then. It's Tim Kurnock looking to make it 2-2 two to two in the heat of the 375. He's still in the mark now. On Joe and Gordon. They hit that top bin once again. Need him now coming under pressure. That third place. And Ian Gruffers again making a big move back around the outside line. As Kurnock leads him on the last lap. Been short in second. It's Needham in third. Guthridge in four. Palmer gets close in five. Jones in six. Snow in seven. Meadows in eight. That's the top eight. We see Tim Kurnock halfway down that back straight once again. Gerald Short can't be in the shine. He's close from that position. Needham holds that third. Guthridge in four. Calvin Palmer gets up and getting close to in five. As Tim Kurnock looking to make it two to two in the heat of the 375. He gets the winning rise. Second is Gerald Short. Three abreast the third, fourth and fifth. Needham gets the third. Guthridge four. Palmer five. Jones six, Snow seven, Meadows eight, Liner nine, and Palmer in tenth place. Race 19 result to win the 726, Tim Kernock. Second number 27, Gerald Short, and third 364, Dave Needham. 174, 226, 52, 189, 105, 246, and 227. Race 20, delete Tony Cook, who unfortunately had to pull out with machine problems after his first ride, and delete number 99 as well. Side cars on the line for race number 20 then. We look across 
across it, uh, far side of the track, we've got three outfits getting away then. Looks like Scott and Elysium going down the back straight then. Four of first up, it's Scott and Elysium going into that top corner. Got a good lead already coming out of that bend. There's only three outfits coming out for this. Uh, so obviously I'm not going to imagine Rob Bradley's not come out. So it's Scott and Elysium. And then Gary Sauker has got the second. Anthony Goodwin is in third. Scott and at top corner then. Finn uh, Southgate in second. Goodwin is in third. That's the three as they stream down the back straight again on race number 20. Scott does it clearly. Appearance as a, dry, as a driver holds that third place, Gary Southgate is in that second place position. Taking the last lap back then, it's uh, Scott Dunclear then, from Gary Southgate in second. Anthony Goodwin is in third. They race down the back straight once again, they make equal distance between these three in race number 20, the star of the second leg of the 500 side cross, Scott Dunclear with a clear lead then. And Gary Southgate and Nicky, Nicky Blaze hold that second place. It's... Uh, Anthony Goodwin getting closer in third as Scott Dunn gets the winning ride. Second place is Gary Southgate, third place Anthony Goodwin. Race 20 result, a win for number 118, Scott Dunn, Paul Smith. Second number 44, Gary Southgate, Nicky Blaze. And third number 30. Anthony Goodwin and Scott Goodwin. So Nicky Bradley winner first time out, as was to Andy and Laura Carrison. Sean Harvey got a close second. Rob Heath was third. Mark Costa was in third, fourth place. So he should be up some good action in race number 21. Another heat of the 500 sidecars. So looking across then for race number 21, should have six outfits on the line for the seat of the 500 sidecars. Away to a clean bay, looks like Andy Carras and Laura Carras have made a cracking start. Nick Radley have gone away, they're in third place. Going into that top corner, Nick Radley holds that second place. Pitching a really bunch up, Mark Costa has got the fourth place. Pitching for coming out of that top turn, it's Sean Harvey and Danny Hagel have the advantage. Nick Radley goes from the inside, Sean Harvey again. Back round the outside, Nick Radley back on the inside. Carras have got that third place. Radley's hit the front by getting inside, Harvey. Harvey will come again. Back up the inside line, gets inside. Nick Radley, super action between these two. With Harvey on the inside, Radley round the outside. Carras has got the third. He's in Costa, he's in four, he's in five. The shoulder to shoulder coming out of that bottom corner. And Radley's gone wide again to get the drive. Sean Harvey comes again. Back up the inside with Nick Radley again. Cleverly back round the outside. The former champion leading the reigning champion at the moment. And, and Carras is not too far behind in third as they go to the back straight once again. Sean Harvey having another, another go at Nick Radley and Mike between these two as they go into the top corner. 44 times. Carras has got close in third place. It looks like Nick Radley's going to make it two out of two of the Sean Harvey as Nick Radley gets the winning ride. Second place is Sean Harvey. Third place are the Carrisons. Tight for fourth and fifth. Costa gets four. Heath gets five. McLaren in sixth place. Super action in race number 21. Super action there in race number 21 to win for number 21, Nick Radley and Adam Young. Second number 72, Sean Harvey and Danny Hogg. And third, number 16, Andy and Laura Carrison. 37, 18 and 22. Race 22, delete 910, delete number 22, put in number 55, Paul Morphy. Three of the upright solos. Ian Dudley goes to on the inside lead, going down the back straight for his first time, then Melissa Chapa comes through into the second place, Vision Adrian Bourne has got the third, Colin Bourne is in fourth place, Orr and Ben Bilichap drops it on the entry to that top corner, all the riders do well to get by the fall in riders, Dudley leads them, Ben uh, Bourne in second, Bird is in third, Roland's in four, Brizzle is in five, that's the top five, as Ian Dudley clear, going down the back straight once again then, but Bird holding that second place, Richard Bourne now coming under pressure that third place, lose that third place, and still Roland goes through. On the inside, born again, back round the outside to retake that third place position. So Dudley is the race leader for Bird in second, born in third, Roland is in fourth place, up to top four, on to lap four this time then. As Bird comes across the line in second, born in third, Chrisley in four, Roland's in five, Millie Chapley mounts and goes into position number six. Neil Wallace is in seven, Walker is in eight, that's the top eight. As we see in Dudley at that top corner, 44 time in race number 22. Dudley wins race number 22. 
Colin Bird is going to pick up his second place tight. The third, fourth and fifth places. The Rollers goes wide and Crizzle comes to the inside. Rollers gets fourth. Crizzle and Milicep cross the line together for fourth and fifth places. They're followed by Gordon Walker and Neil Wadhams. Race 22 result to win for 3-1-2, Ian Dudley. Second number six, Colin Bird. And third number 886, Phil Rowlands. 1-1-1. One, 1-3-0. One, one. One, 84. And 2-0-4. Race 23 up and running another heat of the uprights. Looking for Steve Gordy, hit the front, that's exactly what he does. He needs to be showing in the back straight forward. He's first, so the track is Chris Maloney, hit the front, Steve Gordy works his way through into second place. The two familiar levers on that far side of the track is Maloney leads, but Dorr trying to come through on the inside. Maloney leads it, but Dorr in second. It's short in third. Griffin is in fourth place, going into that top corner once again. And Steve Dorr this time does go through on the inside and leads, going down the back straight once again. Super action between these two is Maloney in the front again. Dorr again comes back through. Shoulder to shoulder going into that top corner. Maloney on the outside. Oh, and Steve Dorr and Chris Maloney both come to grief on the uh, more or less the same time there. General Short gets through, and so did Nick Griffin. Red flags are out. Red flags are out. Stand rider number 37 has come out for the restart. He is excluded as the primary cause of the stoppage. on that far side to see if we are going to get race uh, 23 away at the second time of asking. Where we go then with the second time of asking of race number 23 down the back straight they go for the first half. Gerald Short, Steve Dorr, shoulder to shoulder going into that top corner. Nick Griffin's gone to the third day. Neither was in four. Rob Snow is in five. Dave Miller's in six. That's a six. And it's Steve Dorr leads him coming by us for the first time, but a wide run in general short holds that second. Nick Griffin has got the third. Dave Needham is in four. Rob Snow in five. Dave Meadows in six. Down the back straight they go once again. Dorr is leading in short, coming under pressure. there been Griffin. Good race coming on to second in third place. And Gerald Short just hanging on to that second place. And Steve Dorr now starts to get away at the front. And Shorty holds that second. Griffin again trying to find a way through on the inside of Shorty. As they move it on the last lap this time, Dorr is the leader. From Short in second, Griffin is in third, Needham in four, Snow in five, Meadows in six. And again, uh, Nick Griffin almost thrown into Gerald Short on that top corner. Shorty again, that big sweep there. Right there, going to that fifth corner, retakes in second place. The Steve Dorr leads into that bottom corner for the final time and restarted race number 23. It's Steve Dorr who gets the one in right. Second place is going to be Gerald Short. Third place, Nick Griffin. Fourth, Dave Needham. Five, Rob Snow. And six, Dave Meadows. Race 23 then, a win for number 110, Steve Dorr. Second number 27, Gerald Short. And third number 4, Nick Griffin. 364, 189, 
Race 24 then, delete number 2, putting number 91, Rod Melksham. And we go into race number 24, 500 solos. Where we go then with the seat of the 500 solos, Holland Cook leader going down the back straight for the first time, Rod Malcham, making a line through on the inside, Dave Holland gets through in the second place. They pick their way in that top corner, 40 first on it's Holland Cook who's stolen the march of Dave Rollins on the inside, holding that second place, he drifts off the line, Rod Malcham goes through in the second, Rollins has got the third, Cherit is in four, Hudson is in five, Charlie Saunders in sixth place on somebody else's machine, there they go, down the back straight once again, it's Holland Cook who's stolen the march of Rod Malcham, hunting him down there in second place, Rollins has got the third, Cherit is in four, Hudson in five, coming out of that top corner and on the start of the last lap this time, it's Cook who leads it then for Malcham, Desperately trying to close the gap there in second. It's Rollins in third. Cherrits up the fall. Hudson drops back to five. As we see Holland Cook down that back straight for the one more time in race number 24. To the heat of the five minutes. So as Rod Malkin trying all he knows to close the gap there in second place. Going in third to top turn. And next to that top turn, Holland Cook gets the winning ride. Second place is Rod Malkin. Third place, Dave Rollins. Fourth, Jody Hudson. Five, Mike Cherritt. And that's the only finishes there for race number 24. Race 24 result, winner number seven, Harlan Cook. Second number 91, Rod Malksham. And third, 887, Dave Rowlands. 53 and 177. Race 25, delete 10, 33, and in 67, Michael Norton. So delete number 55. Way in running there with race number 25, another heat of the 500 solos, Palashkov clear going down the back straight to first on them, moving up and dropping second, Daniel Winter goes more into on the inside, he moves through in the second place, at three abreast the third place coming out of that top corner, Palashkov has a leading position then, Daniel Winston goes between two runners to go through the second, Hillier again, back round the edge of Winston to retake that second place, Palashkov sweeps between two runners, to hit the front again, Hillier again, back round the outside, super action between these two, as that's top three, giving Hillier in second, Winston in third, but it's up in fourth place, that's the top four, they're getting away at the front, then coming out of that top turn once again, and uh, Hillier really wide, coming out of that turn, as Ashcroft leads it, then Hillier again in second, Winterton is in third, Millichap is in fourth place, that's the top four with Tommy Crew already in position number five. They start to spread now as they go to the back straight and Hillier's come to a hold up on that top four and will hold in second place. So for that spot, I've got clear, this is that top turn for the final time in race number 25. But Ashcroft gets the winning ride. Second place is Daniel Winterton. Third place, Ben Millichap. Fourth is going to be Tommy Crew. Hillier comes across the line in fifth, and then 2-1-2. Two, two. Kalashkov first meeting back for 2011, two rides and two winning rides. So well done to Phil there on lap of honours. First meeting back and he picks up two winning rides. Pre-75 solos. Pre-75 solos. Okay. Just bring the money out to Jane for the pre-75 solos. We do have a clear-cut result for the pre-75 solos. In sixth place, Gerald Short. Fourth place goes to 
Dave Needham. Sorry, Bob, didn't know you were here. First place, Dave Leadham. Fourth place, Dave Leadham. In third place, 18 points, Calvin Palmer. This is third. Calvin. Second place, 20 points, Ian Woodridge. And the winner of the 375s with 24 points, Tim Kernock.
place with 21 points, Ben Millichap and Rod Malksham. for first place in the 500 solos, both with 24 points. Harlan Cook and Norman having a superb afternoon this first meeting of the season. Bill Ashcroft, equal first in the 500 solos, Harlan Cook and Bill Ashcroft. Thousand sidecars, 
performing 6.0 all equal first. Rod and Gareth Winterburn, Mark Cossa, Carl Bly, Matt Fumarola and Danny Crawford. All for equal first place. Thank you.